to Thoroughly Groovy Throwback Thursday. I, I, you know, I was lined up vibrationally, and um, I know it's always divine timing. It's always, hello, my beloved. It's always divine timing. And it took four different attempts. I always know there's a reason. I'm having fun. And, you know, it's flower power, baby. It's throwback Thursday. We're going to be rocking out in our bodies to groovy 60s and 70s throwback. Love music of joy. Hello, my beloveds. I see you. 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 I'm upside down. I'm so excited. Thank you for the hearts. Oh, wow. Well. Thank you for your patience. We're going to have so much fun today. We get to play with one of the most divine poets ever to rock the love overs. Hello, my beloved. Hello, you, you. You are my teachers. Are you wearing your flower? These are, by the way, are from Goddess of Queen Mary Martyr, a beautiful gift she sent me. Hello, hello, my beloved. Let's just say hello. I have a sad story to tell you, though. And um, I know it's not normally how I start my groove, but, uh, you know, hey, listen. We're all human. Mm. By the way, say hello to my bunna. Oh, I just felt like sipping on some yummy mm, 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 organic coffee this morning. Hello, blessings, multi. Hello, goddess and queen. Goddess and queen, Barbara Smoloff. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I miss you too, my beloved. Oh, it's so good to feel you. It is my pinky hair and you know what? My sweethearts, can you share the link? I'm Rachel Margell Steinhouse, Goddess and Queen. So we have Toronto, we have Florida, we have, was it Michigan? We have, uh, well, my little brother would say Mars in the house about me, and that's good, and I'm proud of it. He always said that I was from Mars. How are you, my beloveds? We're gonna work on engagement, group activation, of allowing what we're ready for by sharing, by sharing one word, one word that's juicy for you, that you're ready for. And if you're feeling caca poo poo, <clears throat> first mouth vomit du jour, first for the judges, first official. <clears throat> This is not the time, as you know, as one of our great sages, Esther Hicks, Abraham often espouses, that is my show off word du jour, often shares, right, right, right? When you're feeling, you know, a little off or a lot off or very fucking off. <clears throat> I swore, I swore, but you see, that's just it. It's not about the word. It's about the vibration. When you're, and by the way, there are no segues here. This is non sequitur love, a vibration, a love stream groove because this moment is all that matters. Not what I just said there when I started talking about Esther Hitt, or in the, because what happens when we're here? And on that note, just breathe into your beautiful hearts. What an incredible gift they were beating when you woke up this morning. I so appreciate that. I love my perfectly imperfect life, meat suit, joy, yum, 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 yum. Let's just be here. And if we're in the moment, first of all, your memory is way better than I tried to, I scripted some. And from somebody who's memorized literally two hours solo shows that I have the privilege of performing internationally for decades, letting go of what you think the next thing and the next, the future and the past, time collapses. If we are present, you know what they say, right? Yeah. Oh, I'm so thrilled. By the way, this is Throwback Thursday, my beloved. So Creative Commons license is what we're dancing to. Greatest songs of the 60s and 70s, father fucker. Yeah, you know, and I, you know, you know, I know, I know I've said it, but I think it's really important to make a point. We need to use the term that is, you know, politically appropriate in 2022. Motherfucker has been said a lot. You know the word motherfucker? And I think it's time to allow in the father fucker in all of us. You know what I'm saying? Just maybe for a week. Use father for you. You're such a father fucker. Now, I think that's right. And I think it's only civilly acceptable to get to... Because we give every car a deal rating. We give every father fucker a deal rating. Okay, just a second. 
and let's not take ourselves too fucking schmuckin' seriously. Now, I'm going to share with you, my beloveds. Oh, we have so many people. Body Chaffee, Goddess the Queen. Are you rocking out? So let's drop into our bodies and out of our heads and stop thinking. Yeah. Isn't it fun to be dancing to 60s, 70s stuff? Flower power. Sometimes it's just so good. If you're into what I call medication, which is my meditation, I do that twice a day. But if that's not for you, if your meditation is bicycling or swimming or going for a walk, this is my other meditation, just dancing. What a miracle it is we are in these 53 trillion cells, meat suits, you know, these beautiful bodies. And we're eternal. These, these are temporary. You, me, you, you who I love so much. And if you don't feel connected to the love that you are, you are the love you've been looking for, my beloveds. Do what I first heard and watched Louise Hay, another great sage, share when she was in physical. <laughs> Although I feel her very much with us from non-physical, right? She has a great, wonderful, fast, easy, mm, user-friendly, bite-sized action easy whatever it is called you know actionable that's it that's the hip word actionable exercise just look in the mirror first thing in the morning or as soon as you can look into your eyes which my father used to say and so accurately are the doorway to the soul and tell yourself look in and connect with your inner being your soul god goddess a creator the great i am and know that i love you I love you to yourself and start there. And once we, oh, suit up, once we realize the love that we are and how powerful we are, other people's approval and love, dislike, like, not like so much, whatever, doesn't freaking matter. Of course, of source, you know, my bloods. We all, it feels good to be loved. It feels good when people get you, get you. But we need to get ourselves. We need to know how loved we are. So do that a few times a day. Do that before your meetings, before your phone calls, before you call your biological family. <laughs> I love my biological family and I know they love me. Like Yes, absolutely. I really like some of them, some of their, you know, person, and they really need me. It's okay, because I am connected to my love source, and so are you. We just have to remind ourselves the truth of who we are. We are the joy we've been looking for, my beloveds. We are the light. We are the light. The light has come. <gasps> Woo! Blessing, multi, blessing. Let us know where you're watching from, because... There are no borders here on Facebook Love. And I'm going to tell you all a sad story in a minute. Okay, Rachel Margell Steinhaus, Goddess of Queen. So beautiful to feel you here. Oh, I miss you too, Barbara Small of Goddess of Queen. John Fox, Love Warrior. Write down where you're watching from so we can all realize the intimacy in the internet. There's such intimacy here, my beloveds. And I started doing this, you know, as you know, a couple of years in the beginning of, you know, what do you want to call it? Lockdown, Shmarona. And oh, by the way, this dress was another gift from my beloved friend, Monica Kaufman, who happens to be a, uh, a jeweler, a fine, ju you know, fine jewelry jeweler, not kakapupu jeweler. I'm not even going to give that a beautiful jewelry and so she's not a but she gifted me and i re it i flower powered it so just weren't enough sometimes in life there just aren't enough flowers you gotta flower it up my beloveds i know that was so deep wait a second i think i see yay bird food and love warrior from sweden how are you my beloved and how's me class what a i snared you into my love web Bev church got us a queen from denver colorado I I got it. It's seared in there to my cerebral. Oh, by the way, it's speaking of my cerebral cortex. I do have something to, to share with you. Maricela Meta Martinez, fucking yeah. I said fucking. What are you going to do? Tell my father? 
Yeah, I know, you know, because we and I are the fucking sisters. <laughs> it's so not about the words, but the vibration. We're going to talk about that a little more in a minute. In just a little while. Caro Favor, Goddess, if we let us know where you're watching from so we can feel that there are no borders here on Facebook Love. We're all one big love family in our beautiful world. So light filled. Love and hugs. Thank you, Bev Church. All right, actually, this is behaving. Rochelle Schwartz, goddess and queen, are you in Boca, darling? How are you and your beautiful daughter, Stephen France? Are you in Miami? Are you in Miami, love warrior? Sing hello, Miami Beach, I see it. Are you on the beach? Are you on the beach? I know it's warming up here. We are so blessed. We are so gifted each place. I mean, I'm originally from the, you know, frozen tundra, Kanakistan, Canada, Ottawa, the cold freaking city. And I'm still cryogenically defrosting, but every place has its charms. I used to love skating on Dow's Lake in Ottawa and having hot chocolate in the winter. But boy, is it a treat to be here in beautiful Florida. Okay, now listen to me. Now you all listen to me. Not you, not only you, Steve. It's good, right? It's Throwback Thursday. I have a sad story for you. I'm sorry, but I do. I know normally I'm the lifter upper, but I'm not going to be lifting you up. Something sad happened. You know, you see, I have naturally um, curly. I'm a, you know, Yiddish kite. I, uh, you know, have naturally curly hair. It's the way it goes. And so um, I allowed my natural pink color to come in. I, I ate uh, a few too many of these last night. And I woke up and the whole thing was right even pinker than before. Yeah! Are you getting your endorphins going? Drop out of your heads, my beloveds. I think the music is up as high as it can go. I'm wearing my earbuds. So listen to me, my beloveds. Can you hear me? <laughs> oh. oh, thank you for tagging all these people, Stephen Front. Yeah, let's rock out and lift up the world. Whoever's so ready to allow uh, their groove, to allow more joy, to get out of their heads and feel the love that they are. Yes, share the link, my beloveds. Share, share, and share more. You know, people send me presents and all that, and, you know, and if you want, by the way, you know, well, we'll get to that in a minute. I told you this is non sequitur love stream. There are no segues here. It's all that matters is this moment. This one, right? Not that one when I started to talk about something else and I'm not going to finish the clock. Now, because breathe into your beautiful hearts, rock out, let your oxytocin, all your good chemicals, your love vibration rise. Oh, and if you breathe into this moment and really allow the joy that you are, woo, the future and the past collapses and all that matters is now. Thank you, heart, for beating. When I woke up this morning, thank you, 53 trillion cells. Okay, now I'm going to get to the sad story. I think I'm trying to avoid it. Rachel Golan from Israel. Oh, you, my reflection of gorgeousity. What a treat to have you they're just a love tool to show us our yes, our love for ourselves. That's it, baby cakes. And all these tools are Danny me, Kylie. We hear you loud and clear. And is the music good? <laughs> I have, I'm avoiding. I have to share a sad story. So because of I was talking about, you know, I'm a, you know, I naturally curly. This is my, you know, hair. So sometimes I straighten it, you know, forgive me for getting creative. Okay, here's my point. <laughs> or whatever you want to call it, I have fun. It's just hair, it's just our meat suit, it's our filet suit, it's our tempa suit. If you're vegetarian, it's your fish suit. You know, it's all, it's, it's temporary. We're eternal. We are eternal, my beloveds. I love you so much. All right, I'm gonna stop stalling. What happened was sad though. We live, you know, love warrior Danny, me, Kylie, and I, 
We live in, uh, we've lived here for 16 years in West Palm Beach and we love it. Beautiful building, lots of people, but we're gonna have to, we may have, I don't know, we might, might have to relocate and I'll tell you why. I was taking the elevator yesterday and this lovely woman who, you know, I haven't, I don't know her extremely well, but you know, we've communicated over the years. We've had little nice interchanges. She looked at me and she said, it, it's the first time she saw this hairdo, I guess. And she said, is that your real hair? And I went, well, well, yeah. Insurance? No problem. Do you want insurance? Yes, no problem. Anything to make you smile. And I, I thought, you know, I do anything to make her smile. And I was like, yeah, look, this is, you see? This is my, mm. <laughs> my real hair. Um, and she kind of looked at me weird and she went, it looks so different last week. And I said, well, listen, I don't tell this to many people, but, and please don't share this information, but um, it's not easy for me to say this. And she looked at me, she was really, you know, full of tenderness. And I looked deep in her eyes and I said, the, the truth is, she said, well, it was just tell me, get to the point. Fran, he was so straight last, you know, a couple days ago. Is that your real hair? Are you, is that really your hair? And I said, listen, I'm going to tell you. And like I said, I rarely share this, but my mother was a sheep. She looked really worried, really worried. Uh, and so she told people and, you know, let's just say we're under notice. The fact that my mother was a sheep is not going over so well in our hood, as it were. <laughs> Listen, sometimes you just gotta be a screwball and find the humor and the joy and the silliness. I did share all that with her. And uh, the funny thing is she said nothing because I think I scared her. <laughs> I did tell her that my mother was a sheep and she said nothing. She just stared, we were on the elevator. She just stared at the wall. <laughs> But you can't take yourself. Well, you can. I have. I have been stuck in my life. I have years ago, years and years ago, you know, my memoir that was traditionally published. I don't know if I ever told you about that and released in October called Confessions of a Jewish Shiksa. Shiksa means non-Jewish woman, which is how I was raised. I, you know, I thought at one point that I was stuck in my emotions, that my emotions were me. And you know, my beloveds, we're knocking on heaven's door. Knock, knocking on heaven's door. We are so not our emotions, but they are a doorway. And if you're feeling dark emotions, if you're feeling, you know, less than yummy, if you're feeling really caca poo poo, second mouth vomit for the judges, second official mouth vomit, you sure? Let yourself have your feelings, our intuition, our pineal gland. They are our biggest, most beautiful, wonderful assets. Our souls, our gorgeousity. Let yourself have your feeling. They are here to teach us. Do not push your feelings down. This is not about being full of bullshit. Hi, I'm very spiritual and awake and um, everything is great. And I have little birdies flying out of my asshole. And look at the butterflies shooting out of my nostrils now. This is not about being full of bullshit. Third mouth vomit to sure. Official for the judges. That was a good one. And it was, you know, entitled to be juicy because <laughs> if we push down our emotions, our sacred emotions, the truth that we are, we end up getting like a, and you know, uh, love warrior John Williams, if he's here, he often refers to this. You get a, if you push your emotions down, if you pretend, if you pretend, hi, let me sell you a used car. And there are some wonderful used car salespeople, please. I am not. Don't smoke me. Hi, let me sell you a new condo. No, it is not about selling and being, because otherwise, if you push your emotions down, you know, you know, you are my teachers. I am your student and I'm also your teacher. You're my students. Big Rolodex of love, of allowing the truth. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. But you will get a big, juicy, pussy blackhead right on your asshole. I didn't make it up. It's just, I know, who would do that? But it's just, I'm so, who would even talk about it? Yay!
Yay! Shadow work is so important, Goddess of Queen Rachel Golan. Yes! Feel those feelings. And my memoir is about my journey from trauma to Nirvana. Yeah, we all had a little bit of, a little bit of trauma. A little bit of contrast as our Queen Esther Hicks calls it, right? We're not here for a feathered nest, as Abraham so eloquently put. I, I would not. I do not wish that I had one thing different than everything I experienced. And my book, by the way, it's not just, you know, it's um, sad and it's historic. My parents happen to be Jewish Holocaust survivors and I was raised Catholic. That's a whole thing. But, and you have to have all the legit info or you don't have a traditionally published memoir these days. Otherwise, a publisher can be sued. So all of that's in there. But also I worked as a stand up. Traumic. I toured internationally for years doing stand-up comedy and annoying people a lot in comedy clubs and, you know, all different kinds of places. And I did my show and I showed off, for, which you might find hard to believe. I showed off for decades performing a solo show about my journey from trauma to nirvana. So the book is funny, it's sassy, it's juicy, because I've had some, shall we say, unorthodox experiences. And it's really about, let's let go of shame. I'm not even gonna finish the word, you know what I'm saying? Shame, blame. We have, we are all beloved. Let's make peace with our perfectly imperfect selves. And you know, my beloveds, you know, Possibly, we're not going to know for sure necessarily. I mean, I really have the incredible gift of connecting with so many who transition, who my beloved, my some of my beloved, 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 and the beloved to the five, to the pie of five, to the strawberry with creme fraiche on the side. We're not going to know for sure, but I do believe that we likely made a contract, some people call it, we made an agreement before we came in, perhaps to experience certain things, to allow our world to shine light on the darkness. And you know, it's a beautiful thing. We're living in the most exciting time. Okay, enough out of me. Laura Nashman, goddess, when I read the magnificent memoir, bless you, you gorgeous creation of just, Laura Nashman plays the flute and other music for farm animals, animals that have been, shall we say, not treated so well, and humans, humans that have been treated well, and humans that have not been treated well, and we allow in every experience. That just, I'm not in any way, ever am I condoning bad treatment, ever, don't smoke me, you know? And there's a lot happening. We attract in our experiences. That's the thing, where can we wake up? right now okay everyone needs to read it oh <laughs> love warrior everyone who's ready for it uh what i have loved so much in my life in this incarnation is reading many genius memoirs and biographies and autobiographies blah, 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 and they've helped me magnificently and when i wrote this i wanted to write a book that wasn't only Mm, you know, deep and traumatic and moving, which apparently it is. I'm getting beautiful, beautiful, beautiful media reviews, personal reviews. You know, listen, even the squirrels that I'm walking by are like, hey, that's a great fucking book. Give me another nut. Give me a hazelnut. Um, you know, they do their pandering. Those squirrels are a little needy. But it's also, it's, it's, it's humorous, I've been told, because they're comedy club scenes interwoven. Confessions of a Jewish shiksa, not a Jewish shithead. And just private message me if you'd like to know about purchasing a book in Canada or the States. Otherwise, uh, like we have our wonderful friends, I don't know who's on from Australia. Tammy bought it uh, off of Amazon because she's in Tasmania, Australia. Um, Barnes and Noble sells it. And, uh, you know, who knows? Probably one day when you walk to your um, you, you refrigerator and open the crisper drawer, it'll be in there. Because that's how annoying I'm going to be. Yay, Jonathan Gomez. Hope all is well. Sending love and joyous vibes to you, my beloved. All right, now. So I told you my sad story. And I will tell you, this is not a sad story. Oh, this is so exciting. We have a special guest. Mm. Let me know, is the music loud enough? Are you grooving out? Are you getting your endorphins gone? I'm gonna tell you about our guest, but first I want y'all to rock your 
biology, your neurology, if anything, is going to raise your immune system. And you know, Shaw men, medicine men and medicine women, Shaw women, uh uh-huh, hello, 2022, got to be, you know, often ask as their first question to a new client, when was the last time you danced? Why? What is going to raise your vibration? Let's go. Shake your throwback Thursday. Uh Uh-huh. Honey, my beloveds. Yeah, it's so good for your biology and neurology and your honeyology. Let's go. Let's go, my beloved. Come on. Let's go. So good for your, if you, if your serotonin, your oxytocin isn't activated, you can take a gazillion, quadrillion supplements and eat well, but we ought to feel good. You know, you know, many people have allowed in more health and more joy by just watching funny movies. I didn't make it up. All right. I have to tell you, it's time for us to allow in, to engage in the joy that we are. What are you wanting more of in your life? For example, (laughs) I am very blessed and very appreciative to a flow of prosperity and abundance and health and joy and allowing in more for other projects, right? Because it gives you more choices, more freedom, more ability to share, yada, yada, yada. So for me, The idea of money, the feeling, the vibration of the word money. It's a little bit like money. Now, maybe I've heard it. Hi, I want some money. It has a lot of attachments to it. For me, everybody's different. You know, everybody's different. So whatever it is you want, let's say it's money. I love the idea of fun, which you might find really hard to believe. So I put together as a hybrid the word fun and the word money because fun to me is like fun money yeah because what's the point of having more money if you can't have fun so i call it fun man fun man so let's get creative and allow in everything is vibration what do you want more of write one word engage with me my beloveds write down one more one word that you're ready for and if you're not totally ready for it don't write it but if it feels good because we're doing group activation. I know that the majority of us are aligned and getting more aligned. And one wonder, oh, I'm disconnected. I'm not disconnected from you though. I'm gonna just, just a minute. I'm still here. I'll see this. If you want, let's say you want, I'm connected. I heard you, bitch. Jeez, she's really, okay. <laughs> Listen, I was never allowed to swear as a little girl. My beautiful, brilliant, genius parents were extremely strict. That was their deal and I love them. I love them and I feel so much love from them, from non-physical. Oh, they are so here. And they did so well. They Well, hello, look how I turned out. I mean, come on. But I wasn't allowed to swear. So for me, swearing is fun and silly and joyful. And words are important and they're not. As you know, my beloved, you are my teachers. I'm your student. We're just here to remind each other of the truth that we are. However, words are vibrational. So what word speaks to your soul about what you're ready to allow more of? And what I was going to say is... When I was a little girl in school, which I talk about, I grew up, it was so cold and so boring in elementary school when I was a little girl. I used to daydream because it made me feel better. Generally, I used to daydream. So don't forget to allow yourself to daydream generally, not specifically, you know, as our queen with her beautiful crown, Esther Hicks often reminds us, don't get specific. 
unless it feels right. You have to, we have to, I have to. Big Rolodex, you are my mirror. You are my mirror. We're like a big Xerox machine of each other, of allowing. Where are you? What are you wanting more of? All right, engage with me. Let me know. One word. Okay, so we have a lot of comments here. Sweet Franny, did you know when you hold up to her book, it is backwards, the writing? Oh, <laughs> I didn't. I didn't. Oh, that's so funny. Should I do it backwards this way, Laura Dashman, and then make it people will understand? Maybe if I hold it upside down? I didn't know. <laughs> Ever. Oh, Eliana Chevlinova from Bulgaria. Hello, gorgeousness. Look at this. Marfer Jaffrey from Florida. Oh, we have such a global group here. So I would like you all to engage. Laura for Jaffe, let's start with you. <laughs> Self-revelation is what you are allowing more and you're using the actual word. Well, that is extremely formal. Self-revelation is what you're allowing more. And okay, so let's activate that for Laura. Self-revelation. And it can, it's not necessarily always pretty, as you know, my beloveds, right? We all, it doesn't matter. Wouldn't you like to know if maybe even without intention, we are attracting what we perhaps don't intend to, right? So Goddess of Queen Laura for Jaffe is sharing the word self-revelation. Now, many of you may have shared words I didn't have a chance to look. Where can we order your boxes? God, Love Warrior Stephen France. A signed copy. Okay, babe, here's what you do. You, you and I are friends on my regular Facebook page. Just uh, text me a reminder. Just say, how can I order the book? And I'll send you all the information through my private messaging on Facebook, Stephen, okay? Super easy. I will I will inscribe it and I will enclose, you know, some seasoning. So in case, you know, you get lost in the woods or the mall or whatever, you can eat it. I know, I'm such a practical gal. Okay. Um, okay. So funny. What did you say there? So yummy. <laughs> Hubby usually says so funny when I'm naked in bed. So, uh... Oh, thank you so much. And I would like everybody now to please tag and share this video because we're about to get, you think we are exciting. Well, we were pretty exciting, but we're going to get even really more exciting. And you know why? You know why? Because our special guest is coming on. All right. Okay. So uh, let's see what's going on. Oh my goodness. So many fabulous comments. All right. Um, we have somebody coming on who, you know, really deserves an audience. And it took me a couple tries to go live because uh, the internet gets very excited. When I come on, I just have that power. I'm just some kind of wonderful. How are you, Goddess Queen Eliana? Let us know. So as a group, we have more power to activate the love for all of us. And by the way, anybody who feels that there's not enough money, love, health, joy, tur turquoise green eyeshadow to go around. If you want to tell people that they charge too little, they charge too much, that they shouldn't say this, that they should say that. If you want to make it your business to tell some, you might want to take a look at the self-revelation Laura for Jaffe is speaking of, because that will reveal the truth of all of us. If you, if we have fear and we want to control people, if we have a lack of mentality that there's not enough, there's enough money, there's enough health, there's enough joy. The only thing that we don't have enough of is open-hearted love and being al allowing in the joy and the abundance and the prosperity and the grooviness in our world, right? It's just, that's it. So let's vision it for everyone. Let us be the love that we are. Myra Moore, goddess of queen, goddess of queen. All right, we are gonna be bringing on somebody fabulous who I don't see quite yet. This is interesting. Uh, love warrior, Danny McKiley. Do we have the feel good, the feel good palette? And the, I don't know why, but I really like the basil thing today. I'm sorry, but I'm, you know, clearing my sinuses at your expense. All right. 
You are awesome, Ileana Shavlanova. And what, my beloved, are you allowing more of in your life? If you wish to share one word, that's all I ask of all of you. Share one word of what you're allowing more. Like for me, it's fun money. Because having more money without fun, eh, you don't see him. Can you tag Darshan? Love Warrior Danny Me Kylie. Rachel Mark Elstonis, you got it, Francesca. Enjoy what you have and make the best of it. Well, yes, and to me, right, it's all vibrational. To me, I hear, and I know you don't intend it that way, but when I hear, you know, listen, do you know how lucky you are, young lady? I hear my parents speaking. Do you know what I would have done for a piece of fruit in Germany during the war? That's what my mother would say. Make the best of it. She used to give us beautiful, and I love fruit now, boy. I mean, you know, I get it, mama. Fruit in our um, Christmas stockings. And I used to cry and I'd have a, a, a hissy fit because I wanted chocolate and things like that. So it's, it's all vibrational. So for me, I don't want to make the best of it. I want to allow in the best for me. And I know that's not how you met, meant it. But words, words are irrelevant and they're relevant, right? It's all how it hits us. Because I love you and I know you, Rachel. I know you deeply did not mean that. I'm just telling you and I'm sharing with everybody. If you can play with words, because sometimes people hear the word prosperity. To me, it sounds stuffy. Because of my, my, I take responsibility conditioning, prosperity. I'd like to have more prosperity, please. I feel like I'm a snooty British all of a sudden, a British school teacher. And I do like it. It's not fun money. It's not fun money. So pay attention to how things make you feel. I'm just suggesting, I'm just suggesting, I'm just allowing myself. All right, let's see what's going on with our feel good poet, gentleness. You want more gentleness for yourself? That's interesting. So let's all send Myra Amor. I called you Amor. I know it's Armor, <laughs> but you are love. Let's send, let's all breathe into our hearts and send Myra. Oh, gentleness. We are so powerful. Endless gentleness. However you want to interpret that and weave it into your web of creativity, Goddess of Queen Myra, I love it. So we can superpower each other because you know what they say, where one or more is gathered and we are a group of lobsters. Anything you want more of, put a word out there. If you feel ready to, if you feel confident enough about your allowing, if you don't, just feel it and we'll send it to you anyway because, well, I sure as frick will. <laughs> because we are the love. I have endless love. And so do you all. Endless. Oh, my. Look at how show offy this is. Holding my glasses. Like, goodness, it looks very. You know how sometimes people wear glasses in the back? Like, this is just. I think I'm starting a new trend. Okay. Cheers, everybody. Make sure you're hydrating with water. Love Warrior Danny Me Kylie. What's happening with our guesty poo? This is true, Franny, says Ileana Shavalanova from Bulgaria. Freedom too and financial. Okay. And how do you feel about those words? Rachel Morgan Steinhaus, right, honey? You get it. Uh, Ileana, God asked the queen, how do you feel about financial freedom? Does that feel like what is, are you, what is it, what do you associate with financial freedom? Uh, seriousness or joy or love or what what do you associate it with and if you can and you maybe already have done this work and if so great but uh like for me and i'm not you in case you haven't noticed <laughs> financial freedom is a little bit like financial freedom and i'm going to behave like prosperity to me is that but so me fun and money I, and i put i create a new word i encourage you to create a word a hybrid and easy to digest easy to say fun mon fun money I love it. And when I think of fun money, ooh, it's here and it's joyful. I sent him a message. Okay, so that's all we can do. Uh, maybe I, let's send love to Darshan, Gabriel Shanti, our feel good poet. We're gonna, we're gonna see if he comes on. Uh, I'm live for another five minutes and I'll stay some extra time if he's able to come on. I hope all is, I know all is well with him. I feel that all is well with Darshan. Let's all breathe into our hearts and send love and ease to Darshan, 
and it may be a familial thing knowing Darshan. He is he's he's there in his incarnation right now. So let's just send him love and ease and maybe we can suck him into our love web of joy. Uh, loving what you do, Myra Moore makes money. Loving what you do makes money. I love that. Okay. So, okay. So let's, we can even find it. Do you want us to find a hybrid for you, Goddess of Queen Marmar? So, love mon, right? There's love mon. How about that? My love. Love mon. I love that. I love that. Look at what you created through me as me being a Babel. I'm a, hello, my name's Franny and I'm a Babelosaurus, not a Babelosaurus. That's the late show. <laughs> Myra Moore, what about? Fun mun, because when you chew on that, say it out loud, write it down, pen to paper. I used to teach a course years ago called Write Your Life Story, because there's an alchemy that happens when you put an old school pen to paper. As you know, it connects to your vein when you get married, right? The, the, the ring goes here first in the Jewish religion. When I married my beloved love warrior, Danny Mikhaili, under the chuppah. Sorry, I hope nobody got electrocuted with my phlegm. But there is a, a a vein that goes to the heart. So old school pen. And if you really don't, you can talk into your phone. Fun man, fun man. And just juice it up and, and, you know, you may get, you know, committed to a sanatorium. But that's okay. It's better to do it alone. You know what I mean? Or pretend you're talking to somebody, walk down the street and discuss fun man. Juice it. Let's find the vibration of the words. Who says it has to be the dictionary meaning, the denotation? <laughs> Third mouth vomit du jour for the judges, for the judges. So do we have Darshan Gabriel Shante who was gonna read us a poem, a beautiful poem he wrote about Martin Luther King. Uh, uh, let's see, fun man. <laughs> you like it, Myra, I love it. Danny, he said he's coming in now. Okay, great. Okay, so that's good. Well, uh, you know, that's fine. So we're going to, let's love up Darshan. We sucked him into our love web. And Darshan's going to dance with us first. Love Warrior, Danny Me Kylie, House of Music. Do I need to put on some disco? Because we're going to dance with Darshan for two minutes. Because this is about getting out of our heads and into our bodies, which is part of why you can feel when certain words, if you're moving, if you're moving, and you're not saying stuck in the dictionary meaning or what you've heard many times. If you move to music, it's a great trick. Get out of your heads and into your freaking flipping beautiful meat suits. Yes? So that's why I dance like a maniac banshee, a mangy, a ban. Uh, yes, definitely. Go oh, different music. Okay. Okay, so we're going to go different music since Love Warrior Danny McKiley. So we're going to go to some groove of disco, Creative Commons license, so totally legal. And we're going to bring, I'm so excited, we're going to bring on our wonderful guest shortly. Okay, so we're going to dance to mm -mm -mm, funky disco. <laughs> uh, house mix volume four. Are you ready? Let's rock out. Let's rock it. Yeah. Is that better, Love Warrior Danny McKiley? Come on, my beloveds, let's give a warm welcome for Love Warrior. Darshan Gabriel Shanti, let's warm up the house. Let's warm up our tuchas, which is uh, Yiddish for tushy, which my parents, who were from Vienna, Austria, and Bremen, Germany, used to fight in Yiddish. Yiddish, it's such a great language. Every word means three words. It's just a bit confusing when you're a little kid and you're trying to figure out what your parents are fighting. You know, if your parents were Italian, they fought in Italian, unless you were totally fluent. Yeah, yeah, everybody spoke in their indigenous language. When they try to hide it from their kids. Yeah. All right. So this is my book, Confessions of a Jewish Shiksa, which apparently says Laura Nash is upside down and backwards or something. When you see it here, it says, these are very sexy legs. Can you see those? Everyone says, Franny, are those your legs? And I say, no, <laughs> they're my husband, Danny's. All right. Um, no! All right. Do we have, now I put these on upside down, I swear. <laughs> Jacob, gonna 
there's a queen! Oh my goodness, what a treat! Don't ever stop our beautiful dancing queen, never! And that's the thing, right? As you know, my beloved, look at this gorgeous gift that Brachala sent me. Oh, she made this. This beautiful crochet, this sparkly, I hope you can see it. Gorgeous gift. I have so many incredibly generous viewers. What a beautiful, and look at this heart. Can you see this? Oh, I love this so much. If it wasn't so hot and schmitzy here <laughs> in Florida, I'd put it on. I love you so much. And, you know, listen, we all dance our way into allowing in more of the love and the creativity that we are. You dance your way by your beautiful crochet hands making this masterpiece, this mistress piece. Where's Darshan? <laughs> I hope everybody is hydrating with 100% pure creme de menthe, water, double filter, be good to your meat suits. Let's shut up and dance. Ileana. Oh. <laughs> it's the truth, right? Isn't it a beautiful? Did you hear that, Brachala? Ronnie, Becca, Jacob, we're here to lift each other up. We all have our unique talents. Nobody contact me and tell me that they do not have a gift, you know? I've, as of late, been contacted by people who are out of alignment, having difficulties with some of the things that are coming into our world, and there is so much light. None of us incarnated because we weren't here to share our unique gifts. Every one of you is blessed. And if your unique gift is, is, is to make cookies, that is huge. Make it the best cookie. And I mean this, I am not. If it is to be a beautiful mother, a beautiful wife, a beautiful husband, I see David's, come on. Love warrior, I just wanna make sure. That I don't call Darlene David, but I know it's you, Michael Gross. <laughs> oh, so, okay, this is interesting. So let me see what I can do. Invite group members. I'm inviting Darshan. Okay, you've been invited. So Darshan, I think you have to go to the bottom of your phone, my beloved. Do you see that? And just click the icon. Let me see. Guest requests. I don't see your request. Have you, re have you requested to get on, Darshan? Beep! We're all waiting for you with bated breath. <laughs> what is bated? I know bated, it can be like bait. See, that's another word, bated. I would say with like, ooh, juicy, anticipatory, excited. Baited, schmated. I would say we're waiting for you with just, just excited, Jack excited. There you are, Darshan, Gabriel Shanti. Hello, you genius. The feel good poet is here. Are you ready to dance for two minutes? And then read your genius poem about MLK, Martin Luther King, one of the greatest sages. Each of you is a sage, by the way. You know, you're my reflections. Duh. It's true. We all are. We all are. It's what are we allowing in? Okay. Darshan, have you, I don't see that you've sent me a request. There you are. Ad. Okay. Here he comes. Keep on dancing. We're going to dance for two minutes. Let's go. Woo! Woo! Yeah, here he comes. Here he comes. All the way from Albuquerque. Let's go. It says hi. It says there you are. Yay! Yay! Rock out! Rock out, Phil Gentile. The technology worked. Yes, the technology in our hearts and souls and minds and their things that allow you to rock out. Look at you go. Look at Darshan go. That ceiling fan is rocking out too. <laughs> Maybe I should put my phone in my light here. Hold on. All right, you get it. You will keep dancing. We're all excited about you. There we go. I'm going to toast you with my cup. My love cup of bunniness. Get the phone going. Look at Liz and the lyrics. They're right. There you go. There he goes. There he goes. Look at that rocking, green guy from Santa. Or from Albuquerque. Or from, I don't know, they're your near cactus and mountains.
so good to get out of our heads into our beautiful meat suits, our bodies with 53 trillion cells. If you're worried, if you're in anxiety, if you're feeling, you know, kind of a, a little bit cock up of the emotional scale, dancing is so good. So let's everybody breathe. We're gonna bring it down now. And we're gonna have such a treat because the feel good poet is gonna, well, you know it. One of the most genius poets that I know that has been, you know, sharing his genius all over Facebook. And, you know, he's got some nice clients now. Anyway, I'm gonna shut up because this is so many. We listen and talk about beautiful presents from Darshan Gabriel. Shanti, love where we have not one, but two beautiful framed poems sent from love warrior Darshan Gabriel Shanti to our nest here in Florida. So we are really blessed to have you on. All right, Darshan, if you want to bring it down and have a nice sip of vodka or whatever it floats your boobs. We can't wait to hear you. I'm going to bring this music down. All right, my beloveds, you're in for a treat. I sure am. All right. We're going to dance our way out of here, but right now, I'm going to pause this so we can hear our genius pop up. All right, I'm so excited, Darshan. Love Warrior, thank you for being here. Well, I'm so happy to be here. Hold on, I'm trying to get it a little lighter. Oh, I love the color of your wall. I Take just, your time. I just painted it. And it's you know, gorgeous. This was an artwork done for me because I love Bugs Bunny. And it has Yeah, name. is that Woody? And Woody did that, yeah. Oh, Woody, who I, one of Darshan's deep friends who I had the pleasure of celebrating, what now, like a year ago. Yeah. I, well, so to get that color of blue, did you eat a lot of blueberries or, or you know, were you feeling you know, blue? Because last so night I ate strawberries to get this <laughs> pink color. I was feeling sad a lot. And so I oh. just shed my, my blueness all over the walls. And now I, I get it. Well, it worked. You shed it. And... <laughs> That's so good. I love it. Whatever you can do to shed blueness, baby, you got my. Shed the blue. All right. Yeah. So I will share this poem. Martin Luther King was an amazing, amazing man. Did so much to change ever. the world, not just on the scale that he did where he was, but all over. I mean, he's still revered today. And every time I watched his I Have a Dream speech, I was so yeah. touched and moved and inspired. And I began actually committing it to memory because I loved it so much. <laughs> and he had a quote, and this is where the poem came from. The quote is, man will only <clears throat> be truly free when he reaches down to the inner depth of his own being and signs with the pen and ink of assertive selfhood, his own emancipation proclamation. And after I read that, I was like, wow. And so I said, I need to write a poem. And then I started to, I, I guess, channel what Dr. King would say. And out Can I just interject and yeah. say, that resonated with me so deeply the phrase his own emancipation proclamation. proclamation and we all are allowing that journey and whether it's this incarnation or the next or the next or the next it's such a beautiful phrase and so powerful i didn't expect it well thank you that's uh it moved me so that's why it's included i know it's hard to very hard to see but it's at the top of the poem. Very hard, and I think it's backwards. At least it that's what uh, Laura Nashman told me. I didn't realize. I was just showing you, because when I posted it with his picture behind it, the quote's on there as well, so you can look at it again. I just wanted it without the picture so I could read it 
carefully because I want it to be as good as it can be. So here we go. Yay! Let's all give a lot of love to Darshan Gabriel Shanti, the feel good poet, as he reads his beautiful, powerful poem about Martin Luther King. Deep down, beyond the barriers of self deception and the iron shackles of self hatred, behind the mask of self denial and the steel bars of self betrayal, hidden away, held down, and held back in tiny cracks and crevices lies the unmistakable, unshakable, unconditional foundation of energy. It shines so bright it can never be diminished. In fact, it's the only thing that is real. It's the only thing that matters. What is that light, you ask? It is love. Without it, there would be nothing, and life could not exist. For love is the glue that holds the universe together. Love is all there is and all there ever will be. That love is your essence. That love is you. Anything and everything else is just an illusion. For you are the embodiment, the physical expression. You are the picture of love in the mind of the eternal. So emancipate yourself from the bondage of insecurity and proclaim your birthright of freedom now and love like you've never loved before. For this is your emancipation proclamation. Ooh. I just, I had, I, ooh, I just had such shivers there. Darshan, love boy, wow. That last, those particularly those last few phrases really shot through me. I love that you wrote love like you've never loved before. That's so powerful. Thank you. First of all, I know that you are really moving a lot of people. I can tell there's some delay here. Anyway, there's no delay in my heart. And, and that is so significant, especially at this very, I mean, always, but especially now in the world when we're allowing in so much light there is you know light being revealed where so much darkness was and i love what you say because i think for i know for many who contacted me people i know and people i don't this is the time where it can, people are getting bogged down by what they're learning truth just feelings just fear which is all it's and i want to encourage everyone to take the beautiful, powerful words from Darshan Gabriel Shanti's poem and embody it. In, 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 where is it that we can feel more love for ourselves and, you know, lighten up, let ourselves off the hook? As Esther Hicks, and another great sage, says, you know, nothing serious is going on here. Even in the most serious of times, love is there god is there if you if you use the word god whatever if you don't like the word god it's it's had a lot of rigid religiosity that's you know brought the energy of a death goddessa creator the great i am all that there is that energy if you can hold on to that feeling knowing that love and the light is always there you illuminated that so powerfully and beautifully darshan i really want to thank you you're and Thank and you for I'm me on. Oh please, you're irresistible, really. You know that. You know that. <laughs> Don't be humble. But how can we support you? I know you have an exciting new TikTok channel, and I really would love if everybody, if you shared the link so we could go and follow you there. I know you orate a new poem every day. Who does this? Well, I do. I'm gonna, <laughs> I, as I did yesterday, I did my first video poem on Facebook and I'm gonna do that every day. And yes! the video I'll then just post on TikTok. And so if you see it on Facebook, it's the same, although I wouldn't mind followers on TikTok and then I can go live on TikTok when I have more followers and help more people that I can't reach in the Facebook community. So it's fabulous. And, and yes, it's, just, it's so I'm, fabulous. I'll leave the link, but it's at, of course, the at symbol, feel good poet. Just feel. Uh, there's no word the, like the feel good poet here on. It's just feel good poet. At feel good poet. You get right to it. 
Why screw around? Feel good poet. Feel good poet right there. And that's the whole point. I write these poems, they, I feel good. And then when I share them, they make other people feel good. And to me, that's the best way to be in the world. Just be happy, feel good and have fun. Love yourself, be kind. And life works pretty damn good when you do that. All men and all women, my brother. And I also want to encourage people to take the words of your beautiful poem. And if you're feeling hatred, darkness, judgmental, blame, shame, and any of that, allow yourself to have your feelings. Write them out. It, our feelings are there for a reason. We're not here to squash them down. However, we are the love we've been looking for. We are the joy. You can let them transmute. And the most powerful thing we can do, exemplified in Darshan Gabriel Shanti's poem, is to send love energy, generally, not specifically, even to people we really hate in our heads. We really, because that's our separation. You're a, it doesn't matter. It doesn't mean you like them, and it sure as heck doesn't mean you trust them or any of that. But if you send love out, that energy is there. And if they are ready to allow it in, they can bring it in. Because contrary to public belief and how most of us have been raised, and this doesn't mean, by the way, you don't protect yourself if there's a shark attack, duh. But sending out hatred and, and jealousy and or condemnation, and I'm not in any way saying justice should not come. People, people you know, whatever, you, you track what you put out. I'm not saying that. But if you send love energy out, it's good for you. So we don't hold on to hatred and blame and shame and all of those dark feelings because they just hurt us. Amen. I love you. Please leave your link, Darshan, Gabrielle Shanti, in the comments. And any other links or information that you want to leave? I have a lot of uh, feedback. So if I'm sounding a little no, bit like sound, a robot, I hear, I hear nothing. If I oh, okay, because I hear it in my head. Everything I'm saying is like I hear it twice, if I which is exciting. Some, I'm pretty exciting. If I can leave some sausage links in the chat, that would be great. <laughs> oh, that is the worst joke of the day. I love it. You get the award. I thought I did. I love cheesy jokes and sausagey ones. Mm, I can go for a sausage link organic. I love you so much. Love Thank warrior you. Love you Darshan tonight. Gabriel. Shani. It's so nice to see you real time. We will get to meet you. Fache a fache one day soon. Absolutely. All right. And I'm going to uh, close the window and we're going to, we're going to end the love stream by rocking out. So everybody stays with your love and in their body and lifted. Have a blessed day. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye, everybody. All. all right. We're going to rock out, people. And then we're going to close shop. <laughs> all right, my love wasn't Darshan. Amazing. So powerful and exactly what I thought Darshan would say. Look at that. God has a Queen Rachel, Mark. Wasn't it? Just beautiful. Oh, are you saying he should have put earplugs on? Ooh. Was he, but he was, he was audible, I guess, because people next time, Charlotte Sharp Smalley, hey, Freddie, hello, my beloved, Myra Armour wasn't, Darshan, Darshan, I hope you're eating up these comments, Myra Armour said, amazing, uh, bravo, Darshan, says, God has a queen, bravo, Betty Jacob, okay, all right, all right, is there more, let's see, uh, oh, all right, all right, everybody, let's rock out. I want you to bring this through Darshan's love juice, the juice of your meat suits, of our being silly. Because I don't want to turn I have to go home. I'm going to be back. This is Thursday, Saturday, 10 a.m. EST on my page, Facebook page, Franny Sheridan, my, my personal profile page, 10 a.m. EST. But I don't want to go. But I do have some self pacify because I feel <laughs> temper tantrum coming on. I don't want to stop streaming with my love family. Don't make me. I always feel like I have to go do my homework. No. Uh -huh. I'm not going to do it. I don't care who said so. 
out. I'm the boss of the world. <laughs> okay, I'm just self classify You know how little kids they get a tree that they have a temper table. So mine is going to be because I like to match my sh my smarts. Those are farts that are smart. My smarts with strawberries. <laughs> it's very inappropriate not to match your farts. Um, I'm a little bit of I don't even see green here. The pickle. I feel better. Oh, I love you all so much. I love you. I wish pickles were really good. Okay. All right. I don't want to go, but I'm going to go. I love you. Bye-bye.